I'm going to show you various methods of inserting images and logos into AutoCAD. To start off with, I'm going to go to Insert and External References. If you're using the ribbon layout, you'll need to go to Insert and on References, click on the small arrow which will bring up the External References Manager. From there, I'm going to choose Attach Image. Browse off to where my image is, double click, and drop it down into the drawing. You can control the size. And you can see there's the result that I wanted. Now, the one problem with these images is that they are reference files. So, if you were wanting to use a JPEG or any other kind of image as a logo, you may want rather to embed it in your drawing rather than have it as a reference. That is obviously affected by changes made to the original. So for logos, and I'm setting one up here, I'm going to open up the logo in a photo editor and instead of inserting it through AutoCAD I'm going to go to Edit and Copy. Back in AutoCAD go to Edit and choose Paste Special. Now you'll see three different options here, device independent bitmap, there's bitmap, and image entity. A quick look to Wikipedia will show you the difference between a device independent bitmap or a bitmap. In reality though, they are pretty much going to give you the same result. I'm going to click OK and drop this down in the drawing. I can resize that down. And that's exactly the result I wanted. And this isn't a reference. So if the original JPEG is moved or renamed, it's not going to have any effect on my drawing here. Let's have a look at the second option. Bitmap. And you can see the exactly the same result. I'm going to detach this Land Rover that we have here and just try the same thing bringing the the Land Rover in with the paste special so open up the JPEG in an image editor go to edit and copy and from edit try that paste special again device independent bitmap I'll click OK and drop it down and the one thing you'll notice when you use this method is that the JPEGs look a little bit grimy and a bit pixelated. Try the second option. You can see it comes in exactly the same. Using the third option, Image Entity, will give you the same result as if you had used your External References Manager. And you can see it looks really nice and clean. Now what I'm going to do from here is print this drawing. I'm just going to print to PDF. And you'll notice when the PDF pops up that all three of these images actually come out in the same quality. So even though in the AutoCAD file the images look a little rough, on the PDF you will get a suitable result. You can see with the logos on the bottom right hand side those have come out nice and cleanly as well. In the AutoCAD file, you'll notice that some of these images have frames around them. In AutoCAD, we have a system variable, variable called Image Frame. And a little look into AutoCAD's help menu will explain what this command Image Frame does. It's a system variable that we can set to 0, to 1, or to 2. In 0, the image frame is not displayed. If it's set to 1, it displays and plots the image frame and if it's set to 2 it displays but does not plot the image frame so you can simply choose any one of those that's suitable for you in my drawing here typing image frame shows that it's set to 0 now according to AutoCAD setting it says that the image frame is not displayed or plotted however you can still see a frame around these images so it's a problem with AutoCAD but in the printed result the image frame doesn't show up. So to wrap it all up, 
if you are inserting a logo into your AutoCAD drawing and you don't want it to be a reference file, use your Edit and Paste Special and choose one of these first two options over here.